Check this out, folks. It's that season, right? Listen, if you're putting dogs on there and you really want to level up, then this is the chili you got to put on top. Let's go. Hey, so listen, it's super simple. And you know what? I'm smiling right now because I get to use my cast iron, right? So look, I'm putting a little heat under here right now. And then what I'm going to do is drop this in here. And listen, if you guys haven't got yourself one of these little smashers right here, this works great, especially for you guys that have uh, like nonstick pans. This right here won't scratch it. You don't have to eat none of that Teflon. And if you ask me, that might be what's wrong with everybody. So check it out. I want to talk about something that I guess this is really like personal preference when making chili, especially putting it on a chili dog, right? Let's just keep it right there. You want to make sure that you got it like this. Look, let me show you. You see how fine that is? You want ground beef. I don't like to have mine with all of those chunks in it or nothing like that. That's the way I like to have mine, right? So I'll go ahead and break this down, right? So look, I want to show you another little trick too. When adding your garlic, notice I put a little something right here in the center. Right? There's going to be a reason why. Right now I'm getting ready to add my chili powder. My cinnamon. Look, this is the secret weapon right here. Remember, a little bit of this go a long way. I like to do it a little bit over the top because I like mine to have a little cinnamon in it. You know what I mean? Uh, trust me, folks. It changes the game. And I like to put a couple of, uh, you know, garlic cloves in there. Now, remember I pushed everything up in the center? Now watch this right here. See this right here? Y'all can't see me, but I'm smiling, folks. I don't know why I get so happy when I do that right there. Yes, sir. But the reason I push it up like that, I don't want that to hit the hot skillet, right? I want it to work right there. Check me out. Just like that. Now I go ahead and stir. And I just want to keep this going, this motion going right here until I can smell my garlic get fragrant. Again, look at how small that is how it's ground up, that's what you want to get. Remember, this is the chili that's going on the dog, right? And then we talk about the level up. You see this right here? This is what I'm using. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys want to use whatever you would like. If you hadn't already got yourself some of this right here, this right here, when I tell you it's the level up, and I'm not just saying it, listen, because we all like to see it. Look, the level up. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to put the tomato sauce inside, right? If you notice, I like to try to do little things a little differently, you know what I mean? I like this tomato sauce right here. Look at this, this is roasted. So we'll add that. If you guys come in here and take a look at it, I went ahead and just stirred it up. Tell me that don't look like the chili that you're supposed to put on there. Right, but don't trip. Now we come in with the W sauce. Then my yellow mustard. Now this is that chili to die for right here, folks. And then what do I always say? You always wanna like cook it down, but then you wanna go ahead and taste it. You make your adjustments and make it however you would like. And then last but not least, we finna add a little bit of that brown sugar to it. Right? Trust me, folks. I know y'all looking at this right here, but you're gonna thank me, you know, when it's done. And if I hadn't said all, you know, so already, don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. You come on in here, look at it. I don't know why I keep wanting to pat myself on the back, but I want y'all to see that right there. You see that? Now look, you can see where it's got like a little bit where it needs to be cooked down. So all you gotta do now is like simmer it, right? You just simmer it, you know, until you get to your desired thickness. But guess what, folks? We finna go outside and get them dogs ready. Okay, so look, after we go outside, you know, do your thing. Listen, obviously you don't have to go outside and be on the grill, but if you're looking for that flavor, and I'm gonna show you where that flavor come from. If you take a look right here, you see that right there? That's monumental. This right here is what you wanna have. I got it, we see them on TV with them perfect, you know, lines and all them grill marks and all of that. But you see this one right here? Ooh wee, oh, and it's hot too. All right, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I like to do mine, right? I'm gonna do this first one right here. I'm gonna take some of this cheese, right? And what we're gonna do is just open this up like this. 
and just insert this in the middle, right? This is cool. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Some of you guys gonna wanna talk to me. You know what I mean? I know it's a chili dog, but I like mayo on my dogs. Now I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, how do you do yours? Do you do mayo? You know what I mean? And the only reason I didn't toast these right here with this mayo on it, cause you know we gotta like split it and then, you know, get it wide open. But this and this plus that chili, fire. Okay, so look, let me give you guys a pro tip also. Anytime you're cooking anything and it thickens up too much and you need a, you know, a thinner, what we do is we just always use, for me, I could have used beef broth, but I had some chicken stock that was inside of my refrigerator and I went ahead and used that. And then what I do is I put it back up under the heat and I cook it to my desired, you know, desired thickness. Listen, that right there is just like a level up, folks. Remember that. Also, listen, anytime you're using water to make whatever it is, if you substitute it with chicken stock, listen, that's the major level up. Check it out. I got them greens like that. All right, so once I got them dressed up, and don't forget the one in the center, that's all mine, right? Why? Because I love to have mayo on mine. So then you just want to go ahead and just put a little bit of this on here. Don't have to put a whole lot. This right here is just to complement it, right? So I'm going to come over here like this. Ooh, we Talk to me, folks. Look at it. This is the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? I don't like all that chili that you buy that can. Look, when it comes to this right here, this is what you want to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle me a little bit of this. On the top, now you gotta do whatever you wanna do. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, it's getting hard for me to talk, right? But you see this right here? I know that somebody called that magazine, and as Kevin Hart would say, somebody come here and look at this. And I don't know how y'all do, but I like everything with a red onion. Ooh, my goodness. Check this out, I'm finna splash it and have them put on just a little bit of that green. I like when they wear that green tux. Hey, so look, after all that assembly, you know what I mean? I'm, like I said, I, I wanna go and change my shirt, put on something with a collar so I can pop it. This right here is fire, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, that crust, again, if I bring this back into play over here, it's this here, folks. That's what makes it, you know what I mean? That adds, really, that's a compliment to that chili. You guys probably gonna make that chili and start putting that chili on a whole lot of other things. Hey, with that being said, I'm not finna continue to over talk it. Guess what, folks? Cheers. Hey, check it out. You know this is going to be quick because I'm ready to eat, folks. Hey, try it. Let me know what you think about this chili. Listen, the chili is everything. Then it get complimented by if you guys take them outside and do them on the, uh, on the grill. If you don't, oven, boil them, however you do it. This right here is the real level up. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, you know we had three. Oh, how do I do my three? Bam. Now we got one. I'm out. Peace.